Um, to catch their, I mean, obviously losing to Memphis the first time, they're they're going to be fired up, but catch their attention a little bit more that last night they go into Hartford and, and knock off UConn. Yeah, senior day, and they went in, spoiled the senior day, went in, and you know UConn was playing pretty well, you know, last couple of games, and they went in and beat them, and they are, uh, you know, they're a team that they haven't given in. Uh, it looks like they've rallied a little bit around the fact that Austin Nichols is out, so you know it's going to be another World War Three. <laughs> How different are they without Nichols, and especially defensively with his ability to be a rim protector? Well, I mean, I, I think it hurts him the most probably defensively, you know, and he can score. But you know, they got some other guys to score. I mean, they're a talented team. They got, you know, they got guys can play and guys can score. And last night, uh, you know, Burrell <laughs> went off, and uh, Shaq Goodwin's trying to prove himself, and he's played much better down the stretch. And um, you know, I, I think they've. Uh, you know, as a group, they've rallied around the fact that he's out and everybody's, you know, stepping up their game a little bit. So, um, you know, again, we got to be ready. Coach, it sounds like you've been using a lot of World War II, World War whatever, um, soldier references. Has that been something different that's kind of got the players going? Have you, has, have you been using that more often recently? Uh, I don't know. It's, you know, uh, it's history, you know, and, and there's a lot to be learned from history. And, you know, it's like, uh, like I told the players, I mean, if you look at our history, we win four in a row, then we lose a couple. And you got either learn from history, or and you avoid repeating history, or re history has a strange way of repeating itself. And uh, you know, I've used some some World War II references and, and great battles and those kind of things to, to drive points home more than anything. And um, you know, you, you you can use sports references. You can use a lot of things. You can use. I just chose to use those. And, um, I don't know. So, well, Mick used to use, he had an analogy for everything, it seems like. I didn't know if he had told you, hey, try this with the guys at my work. Uh, just, <laughs> you know, just things that I that I know about, you know, things that I'm interested in, those kind of stuff, and how it relates to the game. And, uh, you know, uh, and, and probably this is politically incorrect. <laughs> you know, a lot of people use war references as far as the game being a war, and, you know, in football and basketball and all sports. Uh, you know, we, we use that because it is a battle. I mean, it's a battle between humans when, you know, when you look look at it. And um, there's a lot to be learned in how to win battles. That wasn't politically incorrect. You've done worse. <laughs> Much worse. <laughs> that was good. The turnovers hurt you the first time against Memphis, didn't they? Oh, it's huge. It was, we had 20 turnovers on the road. And uh, even if you have 20 turnovers at home, you know, it's going to kill you. And we, that means 20 possessions we didn't get a shot at. And that. Um, that was a huge, huge factor in us losing that game. That's because we turned it over 20 times. We cannot, you know, we cannot do that against them or anybody else the rest of the way and expect to win. You cleaned that up to some extent. Probably not as much as you'd like to at this point. Well, we're a work in progress on that. You know, we, we're, we're cutting them down, but uh, we need to continue to cut them down. And uh, I, in the last four or five games, we've been much better. And at least we haven't had as many live ball turnovers either, which, you know. Then you got a chance to defend and all that, as we know. But you, you get, can't have live ball turnovers. And against these guys, you definitely can't because they're athletic and fast, and they'll make you pay. How much has Jermaine, behind the scenes, meant to this season? And even though he's struggling a little bit right now, but being able to help guys through, you know, some of the growing pains of. Oh, he's been huge. I mean, because he's he's been the constant Bearcat. I mean, he he's in for the win and whatever that takes by him and irregardless of how he's playing, he's on that bench cheering, he's on, the, he's in the locker room talking. Um, you know, he wants to play better. It's killing him that he's not playing better and making shots and doing things. But, you know, he, he's also done some things to steady us defensively at times when he, he has not played as well offensively. He's come in and, and, and shored up a couple things defensively. And, you know, it's a matter of time. He'll, he'll make shots again. You know, hopefully we got a lot of games left. And he'll make shots again. I keep telling him that, and he'll be fine. And his teammates know he will. But he's been huge in terms of his attitude. He's continued to lead, and uh, and that's important. That's really important. And, and you know, for him, um, it's his senior year, man. We want to send him out, you know, the right way at home here, obviously. And uh, obviously, this is another game that, you know. Ask SMU last year. They thought they were going to win the NCAA tournament, and they screwed around, lost a couple games at the end. And we can't take a chance on that. You know, I, 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 this again, is, we got to worry about beating Memphis. But it's another step for us. We have to beat Memphis on Saturday. We can't take anything for granted. Coach, how important has this 
last four stretch games been for you guys? And how much respect do you guys think you're getting from the permit committee based on what you've done here in the last couple of games? Well, I mean, I don't, I don't know about respect from the committee and all that. Like I so said, all, all we can control is what we can control. Had we lost previous to the Tulsa game, in my, my mind, had we lost any of those three games, it would kill us because those would have been bad losses and we can't afford another bad loss on our record. The Tulsa game, we had to have because we needed another high RPI win to add to our resume. And, you know, if, if you're going to expect to get in the tournament, Tulsa's, you know, on, on that bubble battling to get in too. You can't lose to another team that's battling to get in and expect to get in. So the last four games, we had to have every single one of them. And in my mind, we've got to have the Memphis game. I, I mean, we cannot, we can't take anything for granted at this point. I mean, we're not, you know, 26 and four or three. And, we're, and so, and no bad losses. So we can't take anything for granted. You can maybe sit Jermaine down and show him video of Titus last year against Memphis on his senior day. <laughs> nice we had that kind of game. <laughs> How much do you think it means to the guys to get a win for him uh, for for well, what think, he's done for them? I think it's big you know, for the guys. They, you know, they they said it in the locker room after the game, even before I said it. That hey, we got to win this one for Jermaine. And you know, uh, I, I they. Jermaine is a guy that everybody in the team likes. He, he, he's made an effort this year again to be, to be a leader. And they, they certainly want to send him, you know, out on Sunday afternoon a winner. Thanks, Lloyd. Yep.